From ABC News, this is Good Morning America. Now from Times Square in New York, weekend anchors Bill Weir and Kate Snow. Good morning, America. Good morning. It is Sunday, March 4th. This morning, a light show in the sky with colors to rival any masterpiece on Earth. It's called the Aurora Borealis, or the Northern Lights. And though they are magnificent, you can never be exactly sure when you're going to see them or how long they'll last. So this morning, we're taking you to one of the prime viewing spots. Our weekend window will open in high definition to Fairbanks, Alaska. That's on my life list to yeah. go see that in person. I saw the Northern Lights Did you? once yeah. in Alaska. Pretty and neat. It was pretty amazing. Good morning, America. I'm Kate Snow. I'm Bill Weir. It is Sunday, March 4th. Coming up on Good Morning America, the planet's most amazing light show, the Aurora Borealis, will take you to the best seats in the house as our weekend window opens in high definition to Fairbanks, Alaska. Uh, coming up on Good Morning America, thanks, Ron. We'll take you to the dog mushing capital of the world as our weekend window opens in high definition to Fairbanks, Alaska. It's a phenomenon so strange, so heavenly, so beautiful that it's been the subject of great poems and science textbooks alike. We're talking about the Aurora Borealis, the fantastic natural light show that occurs in the northern sky. And this morning we show it to you from one of the best vantage points there is. Our weekend window opens in high definition to Fairbanks, Alaska. extreme cold, the extreme dark. This is a place not like any other place in the United States. Because we have snow on the ground for eight or nine months a year, um, the little light that we do have uh, comes back at us. It's reflected off the trees and the ground, and, and it really is a gorgeous place in many ways. <laughs> dog mushing capital of the world, Fairbanks, Alaska. So yeah, people come up here and one of the things they want to do is drive a dog team or ride in a sled behind a dog team. Very Alaskan thing to do. All of our uh, rivers become highways in Alaska in the wintertime, so there's many places we can go. Here we are in the, the Aurora Ice Museum. It's, it's a museum of an actual ice hotel. Go ahead. All the chandeliers are, are solid ice, and they change color about six times a minute. One of the wonderful things, actually, about living in Fairbanks in the wintertime and the long, dark nights is to get to see and to enjoy and to just be awed by the majesty of the Aurora Borealis. Northern lights are very mysterious. You have the sky full of these fantastic lights moving about, and you, we have no clue. We don't know how it works, why it is the motion that we have. They are out of our reach. We cannot go there. We cannot touch them. They are the biggest thing you have ever seen in your life. They have uh, very beautiful colors. Usually a quiet aurora would be just a plain green arc in the sky, but it can burst into colors of purple and pink at the lower border or red on top of it. It's a show above your head that you just cannot resist uh, being drawn into. 